How's it going? How's it going? So, I want to take the time and really uh, be transparent. You know, uh, I never, you know, and just want to just really uh, tell you guys my story and how did I really get into this uh, cargo van, bus truck business. Uh, never really told a lot of people. So, it started back in uh, 2016. I had a, a close friend, uh, Rob Davis, and uh, he was in the industry already, I think about a couple of years before I was. And he told me, he said, hey man, you know what? Uh, and I remember him, him coming to my home what um, he had um, uh, a 2014 brand new Mercedes Sprinter. And he said, man, look, he said, I'm out here uh, getting money, man. Uh, you know, it's a lot of money out here. We got brokers and contracts, and I think uh, you need to take a look at this opportunity. And I'm, you know, and I kept on following him. I said, okay. And so he, you know, one day he picked me up and and uh, we drove around to one of his uh, pickups. And he said, look, you know, I think it was only a, maybe a hundred miles or something. He said, look, I just made uh, $600. I said, what, $600 for driving a hundred miles? He said, yeah. I said, man, okay. I said, well, tell me, how do you, how do you walk me through the process? He said, well, you know, uh, you go to a low board, you know, I go, to, I got a low board that I go to and I bid on the contracts. And he said, uh, you know, whoever get uh, the contract, they decide to be able to, uh, to send the paperwork over to, to you. You sign off on it and uh, you get the deal. You know, you win the bid. They let you know, hey, you know what, you won the bid and they give you the paperwork, the broker, right, or the shipper. And uh, he said, that's pretty much how it is. He said, I got, a, I got a, a, a broker that I work with, and he feeds me a lot of different uh, contracts. And I'm like, man, that sounds great. So over the years, you know, he started to grow a, a fleet. I think he uh, wound up getting another Sprinter. Uh, then he wound up getting a ProMaster. Then he wound up getting a 226-foot truss. And I'm like, man, I said, okay, you got my attention. So uh, he showed me uh, uh, one month statement that, that, he, that he made, and it was significant. You know, I'm not going to go in there and tell you how much it was, but he, he, got, he gained my attention. At this time, I said, hey, you know what? I wanted to change something different in my life. And, and so uh, what I wind up doing, uh, I went to a dealership in, in um, Sherman Darts in uh, Skokie, Illinois, and, and I, I met with a guy named Reggie. So if you ever, uh, the, the name of the dealership is uh, Sherman Darts. If you ever uh, go there, tell them Kevin uh, sent you and, and uh, he'll take care of you. And, and at the time, I had my LLC. Uh, because I was uh, I, previously I had uh, uh, a business that uh, sold medical scrubs and and and, uh, and towels to restaurants and car washes and beauty salons, and so what I did was I created uh, what we call a a DBA doing business as right for drive by faith. Is in the name that I decided to go with, and so that by that time, uh, you know, we was already in business from 2012 to 2017, 18, right? And so what I what I wound up doing was uh, building credit, and I was able to go to dealership. Now this is where uh, I, I want you guys to understand. I went to the dealership without uh, a down payment, without uh, uh, using my own personal uh, 
Social Security, I use the company name and yet the, the business in my company name because I have built credit over the years. I had a business credit uh, uh, credit card, I had business uh, bank account. And so my business, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I had uh, a payroll uh, from a, a, uh, ADP. I think, uh, you know, the, the payroll uh, system, right? And so I had a legit business, and, 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 and when you do it right, when you structure your business right, which it tells you in my book, is I went there and uh, they, you, you know, I, I was able to get the, a brand new vehicle right then and there, no problem. Then I have to uh, go through the red tape they gave it to me in my business name, right? They said, well, uh, can you show me, you know, how would you be able to pay it? And, and at, during that time, keep in mind, guys, I still had my other business, which was the tile company. So I showed them uh, contracts that I had uh, from uh, my tile business. And so by now showing them contracts, you know, I was able to get the business. And so sometimes, guys, you have to, when you jump in, and then you want to put it in your business name, you get your business first. You get the business, you get the contract, the guys, and <coughs> sorry about that. Someone to call. You, you, you get the contract, and you can do that. It's something that's it, it's starting off and, and, and doing deliveries as uh, uh, Uber Lyfts or, or a, a lot of these food companies. And you build. You sh you just sh need to show them that you you can, um, you can afford to pay the note every month, and that's what I did. So when I did that, guys, I got in the business, uh, wind up uh, first contract. Uh, I started doing uh, Amazon, uh, and this is when Amazon really just started. You know, they 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 was. Uh, Essentially, they was coming from uh, delivering to the uh, to the post office. When when Amazon first started, they was delivering in the uh, post office was delivering Amazon package. And then they what they wind up doing is they had uh, you had you get a block of time four hours at a time. Four hours is you know one block, and then you, you go to a station where they fill your You go to a station where they fill you. I'm sorry, I'm getting calls left and right. Um, so they fill you you, 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 you fill your van up or your car, and and you have a block of time to deliver it, right? And so that's how I first kind of got into the business. And, you know, I did that, and, and it just wasn't enough money for me, you know, to be running my business. And, it, and, and so I want to say my second opportunity, I wind up uh, working uh, – with a Chicago man company uh, called uh, Veteran Veteran Distribution, right? And uh, and you go you go there, they load your truck up, and then you do li deliveries as well. They also have uh, uh, another uh, parent company uh, where they do uh, packages, right? So I signed up for both of those companies. Uh, they just require you have a three. Uh, uh, Three hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, and hundred thousand dollar liability, and so when I did that, guys, you know, did that for, uh, and I'm gonna tell you, I made pretty good money. You know, they kept you busy, but again, I wanted to, uh, to build my portfolio, and then so after that, I wound up working with a company uh, out in. Uh, and uh, I want to say, uh, I don't know the name of the company, but I was doing uh, medical uh, blood samples, urine samples for this company. Uh, I think it was uh, ERC. Uh, and, and so same way, you know, uh, but again, I just want to uh, let you understand what happened. I started building my uh, contact, right? And then I... 
start building my resume, right? And so as I continue to keep running for companies and companies, uh, after that, I wind up going to another company uh, and it was in displays. Uh, and what they primarily do is the same thing. You can start off from your home. They wind up saying, hey, you know what? We got a, a package uh, close from your home. You pick up that location, you drop it off. And then throughout the day, they just send you to different location to pick up, right? So this is what you kind of call like uh, on demand. Uh, and so a lot of people don't understand you can have a route or you can have on demand, right? And so these companies are still out there, right? But one of the biggest thing is that uh, what a lot of the companies is, you have to, um, you know, and let me bag back. So I, I did that for a while and I continue to keep on building my, my platform. So the next company that I deal with, it, it was uh, a delivery authority. And what I did with delivery authority was uh, every day I was going to uh, a warehouse in Franklin Park, picking up t uh, tires uh, from a distributors. And I'm dropping these off at different, um, uh, different, um, um, Dealerships. I'm sorry. Uh, it, it's been a while. It's coming back to me. So I did that, you know, and, and, and you know, driving probably 150, 200 miles every day, just driving everywhere, right? And and, and so, again, uh, wasn't what I wanted to do, but at the time I was gaining experience. Uh, was doing probably about 200, 250 to $300 a day. Uh, fifteen hundred dollars uh, a week, five day week, six thousand dollars a month, and so still wanted to build my portfolio. Uh, and so after that, I wound up going to another company out in uh, uh, River Forest, uh, where they delivered medical, and they had a contract with uh, World uh, Finest uh, Chocolate Company in Chicago. And I was delivering uh, pallets of uh, candy to schools and, and organizations for this company. And then and so uh, I was making about uh, $1,500 a week, uh, you know, but after you're doing your expenses, you know, you probably get roughly about $1,000, right? And, and so I'm doing this, but I also got other little gigs on the side as well. So essentially probably doing close to about seventeen. dollars a hundred to two thousand a week, right? And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm I'm running everywhere. I'm doing all this. It has to be a better way, right? And so, let me cut this off. I'm getting calls left and right, guys. Sorry. So at this time, I'm like, okay, um, what else can I do? Right. So, uh, wind up uh, uh, going to a, a company called US Pack. And then Chicago as well. Uh, I worked for them for about a good uh, six months. And things was great. You know, they kept you busy. Uh, again, it was on demand or whatever. But the only, the only problem is what a lot of these companies are, uh, people don't understand, is that... Uh, when you get the jobs, you don't know how much money you, you're you going to make that day uh, or that job. They don't tell you, you know, and keep it in mind, you are an independent contractor, right? So by you being an independent contractor, you have every right to know and reject every job. And so with a lot of these companies, what they do is you ask them how much you're paying and they don't want to tell you because they know that you're going to reject it. Because it's not worth it. Uh, what they're looking for is is for you to take that job no matter what because they have to cover it, right? But at the end of the day, you can, you can be uh, taking a job that only pay $8, right? And you won't know. Some people just take the job and then they get their first paycheck. And they think that, you know, the, you, you done did about 50 jobs for the week. And you turn around and, and you're only making $600. Now you're in the red. So it's, it's so important that these companies that, that, that 
Uh, you tell them, look, I need to make $1,200 or $1,500 a week. And if they can't do that, then they need to be honest with you and say, hey, you know what? I can't get you there, right? But these companies, they won't tell you that. And, and so people, these newbies are taking these, uh, working with these companies, and they are telling them that. You would be better off getting a route from these companies, right? Or instead of taking on demand. Because if you're doing a route, you know your route, no matter what, you're going to get paid this much money every day, every week. This route is going to pay you $250 a day or $350 a day. That's a flat rate. But on demand, you are being, you are given piece by piece. So it's, in, it's very important that you know how much uh, each piece is going to cost you. If you don't know that, what happened is your gas, your tolls, and your operating expense doesn't equal of what the revenue you have brought in throughout the week. And that's when you are working in the red. And so these are things that I want to tell you, right? In my book, it tells you that, right? Uh, these videos that I'm continuing to keep on putting out, it tells you this is the first time that I really took time, step by step, telling you the companies that I work for, right? And so I'm telling you to say that is that nothing against these companies because it could be great for someone it just wasn't good for me right but along the way i'm still learning still uh, uh, uh learning more and more about about uh, different companies right then i work with a, uh, another company that uh that I, I was picking up uh tires uh loading my van up 30 40 tires and they was paying about two fifty at the time uh, a day, and and, and so uh, you know the, I'm only doing uh, maybe a five hours with this company, so I still had enough time to pick up a couple more uh, uh, jobs, right? But during the time, some companies want you to be exclusive to them. They don't want you to work with any other carrier, but they can't. If 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 you take the exclusive uh, uh, a contract that means that you only can work for them and nobody else. If you if you ever do that, you better make sure that you are getting paid the money that you need to pay your operating, and then not only that, to pay your bills right at home, right? Because if, if if you're doing that now, you you really cutting off your opportunity to make additional money for other companies. I would never take an exclusive uh, contract. You would have to pay me five hundred dollars a day. You had to pay me at least uh, twenty five hundred dollars uh, a week, and that was back then. Uh, now, you really would have to pay me about uh, three thousand uh, a week. Twenty five. I mean, three thousand, four thousand a week, because the cost of living has uh, has skyrocketed now. So, guys, I, I'm telling you these things and how to avoid the pitfalls that I have early on in my career. But along the way, I'm continuing to keep on learning. I keep on learning. And by this time, I, I go back to my friend. I said, man, look, you know what? He said, man, dude, you you, you bought in a, a lot of uh, miles in your car. And they said, it, it's not an equation. I said, man, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Help me out. So what he wind up doing is he said, "Hey, it's a low board. They pay you. You pay about a hundred dollars a month. You can bid on contracts. You have broker shippers on there, and then you you can. And 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 so he said, a lot of these times you're not even. Uh, and keep in mind, a lot of those companies you got to unload, right? Like when that when I uh, when I was doing the candy or whatever, it was a lot of times they didn't have a." a a pallet jack or a forklift to take it off my off my truck. Guess what, guys? You you have three or four hundred uh, uh, boxes that you're unloading. You put it on the um, you put you put it on a pallet, another pallet, and then they bring it. You, you know, you bring it in. So you you <coughs> when you're looking at that, you're like, man, you know what? And a lot of these companies don't want to pay you from unloading. 
Never ever take a job that you have to unload excessive amount of um, of what you call it uh, uh, product, and uh, they don't pay you for unloading, right? And so, uh, getting back to what what, what I did, I, so I, I started going on the load board, started bid, and I was like, man, this is great, because guess what? On a low board, you don't have to touch the freight. Probably ninety percent of the time, you you are you are going to warehouses where they have a forklift come out and they load it on your on your on your van for you or your truck. You go to the dock. They they you they, you just bring it bring it straight to your your truck and you get in your pallet jack and you you put it on and and you secure it securing the um the the freight. So, again, I just want to let you know these are the, the things that I've done in my journey in order for me to be successful in this arena, right? And so after that, guys, I want to tell you, uh, you know, uh, start doing uh, doing a lot of these. And man, I'm gonna tell you, you know, you you start winning these bids, you making a uh, five or six hundred dollars a day. And you only do on you you do one trip, and you're like, man, this is where I've been at, right? But along the way, all the other things that I was doing, I was really building my resume. And so, you know, the uh, 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 when the right time came, I had my resume. I, I put it on uh, Indeed, and. I had a guy uh, said, man, look, I see that you, 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 you've been doing a lot of this driving. He was like, you know, I have a contract with Walmart and you're picking it up in uh, West Chicago and you're taking it to the DCs in the Midwest. And I'm like, okay, tell me a little bit more about it. He said, okay, I'm gonna send you over what they call a carrier package. Carrier package is just basically you give them information in your company. Uh, you making sure that you have the right insurance to be able to haul the uh, the product that, that they want. I gave them everything. Everything checked out right. You know, I did a research on this company, make sure that they paid on time and this and that, right? And so I also hit a factoring company. My factoring company checked the balance. I had eight. They're great. But I want to tell you what a factoring company is. Factoring company is just basically mean that. They buy your bill, your your your, your bill of lading. Your bill of lading is really a contract, essentially what is uh, that you are carrying or uh, on your truck, right? And it's essentially it tells you what are the goods that you are transporting. And they buy maybe two to three percent of, of of the price, right? And the, and the reason why that's essential is because if you are uh, on the road. And you need to uh, continue to have cash flow. That factoring company would be able to give you uh, cash flow immediately, sometimes within that, within hours, right? And you call them and say, "Hey," and they say, "Well, you know what? If you can scan it, uh, take a picture with your camera, your, your your phone, send it to me. I'll approve it, and you tell me what uh, what account you want want me to uh, send it to." Or you can go to some of these trucking stops and you and, and, and you can, you can submit it to them and you can get paid right away. Boom! That's that's what I I was doing with my factory company. So after that, uh, my first run was a hundred miles somewhere down in Spring Valley, a hundred and ten miles. They paid me fifteen hundred or nineteen hundred dollars for that one run. And I said, what? And so I started doing that route and, you know, it was a lot of weight. It was about 3,200 3, pounds, two, two pallets, uh, 3,200 pounds. I was transporting uh, perishable goods, which is canned goods for uh, rice, uh, beans and things like that, Indian food. And, and, and so this is what I was doing. I was transporting to different... Uh, DCs, going to Indiana, going to Ohio, going to Michigan, uh, and, 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 and Illinois. And 
sometimes I was making uh on Sunday one well, depends on I was going, I was making uh three thousand dollars in one day. Going to Ohio, making three thousand dollars in one day. And I was like, man, this is great. And I didn't have to do anything else. That 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 uh year, you know, not throwing my numbers out there, but I was like, man, I'm making great money. I have made it. The thing about it is you know, your, your brokers over the time, they create opportunities with other people, more people uh, that they uh, want to work with. And you, you can't uh, uh, put everything in, 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 uh, in, in one basket, one, every, all your eggs in one basket, if, if what I'm saying. And so what I wound up doing was he called me and said, hey, you know what? I got uh, some more people uh, that I'm I'm working with now. You know, I'm not gonna be able to give you these contracts. Boom, that's ninety percent of my business because I cut off the contract with everybody else because I thought this contract was gonna last. So at that time, I'm like, man, what I'm gonna do? Uh, and 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 so start researching and then find out that it was companies out there. Uh, that you can uh, go on apps, right? And in the, the app situation, one of the first companies that I did, uh, I think, was Dispatch. Dispatch wound up being a, a brand new, uh, call itself a tech company or whatever, and they upload everything to their platform. But guess what? You you're in competition with everybody. If something get loaded to your uh, to the platform, you get a notification. But guess what? You you literally have like five seconds because somebody else is competing. It's oversaturated, right? But during the time, it wasn't oversaturated. So I was uh, got on that platform, was doing very well. Again, making about two uh, two fifty to three hundred dollars, sometimes five hundred dollars a day. Kept on doing that, and then of course you start getting other companies out here. You know, um, go share. Uh, you know, start doing it, right? And so, I'm starting getting on all these different uh, app-based uh, platforms. And and that kind of what saved my business. And uh, and so I did that, guys, um, for about uh, another year and a half. And, you know, things uh, started, uh, you know, a lot of people started getting in the, in the business, right? And so it was oversaturated, uh, definitely in Chicago. And I'm like, okay, well, what I'm gonna do now? So that by that time, we had COVID. Um, I think this was right around 2020. A lot of companies needed medical uh, supplies delivered uh, because you had to be what is, what is the name of the essential uh, business in order to uh, come out and do work, right? If you want an essential business, the governor and in, 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 in Chicago, uh, city of Chicago, the surrounding uh, suburban area said, hey, you can't work. So I was delivering gloves, masks, uh, uh, sanitizer, uh, uh, to medical facilities, I was delivering that uh, to clients. I was delivering to companies, forward companies, and man, it hit. Here we go again. It was another great opportunity. And and and, and guys, uh, you know how COVID was. People were scared, right? But it was an opportunity to make more money, right? And this money was uh, was lucrative, right? Because they, they calling you and said, hey, we got we got. A, can you do it? And I had sometimes I was like, well, you know what? I, I'm busy on this day, but oh, I'm busy at this time. I I can get to it if if, if you allow me to uh, deliver it uh, for you. And so so guys, I say that not to press upon you, right? And brag about the opportunity. What I tell you is, I give you my story. This is the first time that I I spent 30 minutes telling you how did I get in this business, right? And how to sustain, right? And so now, the book, why it's so important now, 
You have the story with the book, guys. I tell you, in this book, align with my story, you can get in this business and you can start right away. And, you know, if you need a one-on-one -on -one tutorial or one-on-one -on -one mentor uh, session with me, of course, it's going to be a fee because I, I can't give you my time. And that's why I put it in these videos, right? So you don't have to pay, right? You take the information. But more important is, guys, if you go to www.cargovanbusiness.com, pick up the book. It's on Amazon. If you're in the Chicagoland area and you, you want to buy a van, uh, e, uh, DM me. I got a friend um, who sold me my van. He will, they got the largest uh, uh, Dodge uh, Ram Promaster dealership in the Midwest. And so they, they, they literally have hundreds of van on a lot right now. So, I, I only say that, guys, uh, is because I do have the connections to get you going. If you want to learn how to structure your business, if you want to learn how to get your, your DOT, I also have a guy can get you your DOT, your MC, right, as well. I also have, a, uh, when it comes down to if you want to know your factoring company, how to set up a, a good factoring company. I have all that information, guys. If you want to know what insurance to get and what insurance not to get, how that process works, it's in the book, but I also can walk you through it. Uh, with that being said, go to www.cargovanbusiness.com and get your book today. Uh, I'm excited, guys, uh, that you are uh, on your way to get started in this cargo van boss truck business. With that being said, guys, I gave you 30 minutes of my time. Uh, man, it, I, it feels so good to be able to tell you my story because uh, this is the first time that I actually uh, told my story. And a lot of times people want to know, you know what, this this guy is telling me about a book, but it, you know what, tell me what you've done. How do you make your, say you're an expert in this arena? Now you understand that I have worked with over 25 companies uh, throughout my career, right? And, and brokers and, 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 and shippers and, and different companies, right? And, and the reason I was able to do that is I built my resume. I started off in humble beginnings where a lot of people uh, start off in humble beginnings and they quit within a couple months and they sell an van within a couple months. It's all about the grind and hustle. It's all about praying what you want, right? It's, it's, it's important, guys, that you know that you have to, it's a high bend, and you pray for what type of, and this is me personally, you know, your story could be different, but I pray on what type of business I want, what type of sacrifice that I'm going to get, uh, take away from my family in order to provide for them and so that being said guys take care www.cargovanbusiness.com